Okay, with the perimeters entered into the program, uh, this driver turned out exactly as it was supposed to. Um, we'll close this down here. And I'll show you exactly. That's the new project. Uh, one driver. And the EVP, as soon as it pops up, it's a closed box. So this is optimized for sealed enclosure. We give it our signal right away, which uh, I usually go by the RE of the sub, which is what the resistance of the coil is, is 3.088, so we'll add that in there. And you can give it a system input power if you want, but it's not going to help your dimensions too much. But we'll say 500 watts. Um, my automatic box that it gives me is uh, 2.8 cubic feet. But um, with a sealed box, there's tricks to go smaller and make it simulated. So that one cubic foot sealed, 27 hertz is our minus 3, 37 hertz is our plus 3, with a 5 dB peak at 46 hertz. Go to 2 cubic feet, our minus 3 dB is 25 hertz. Zero is 29 hertz, plus three, 35 hertz, with a 4 dB peak at 42 hertz. Um, then peaks can be equalized out, um, or what you can do is stuff your box with polyfill, and it will simulate an enclosure two times its size. So we'll simulate an enclosure two times its size right now, which would give us a minus three at 23 hertz. 0 dB at 27, 28, and we'll bring our peak down to 3.5 at 40 hertz, which is quite usable. Our roll-off is a little over 100 hertz, which doesn't matter because in car you'll probably only use up to 80, uh, maybe 60. So the sub was built to be optimized in a 1 to 2 cubic foot sealed enclosure stuffed with polyfill.